Welcome back design students. Let's get started on this very exciting project. So let's start by creating a project folder. You're going to have a lot of different items for this. So uh, let's go ahead and create a project folder. To do that, let's go to File, Project, Create Default. And that's going to bring up your File Explorer window. What you need to do is pick a location. I'm going to put mine on my desktop, but I would like for you to put yours in your class folder on your OneDrive. So I'm going to go ahead and once I choose my location, I'm going to create a new folder by clicking right here. And I'm going to name this Still Life. You can name it whatever you want. And push Return. And with that folder still selected, I'm going to click Select Folder. And we now have a project folder for our project. So the first thing we want to do, I think, is bring the wine glass into the scene from the previous lesson and we're going to put some wine in it. So to import something from another 3D Max file, all you need to do is go to File, Import, and choose Merge. And that brings up your File Explorer window and what you need to do is go find the wine glass that you created earlier. Mine unfortunately is on my computer at school so I'm going to create it, I'm going to import it from a previous version of the scene that you saw earlier. So when I select the scene file that has the glass that I want, I'm going to click open and it's going to list all the things that are in that scene. Yours should only have one item in there, the wine glass. And you can see why it's a good idea to name things in your scene because I have some things in here that are not named. My glass is probably this right here. I hope that's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and click OK and see if that's the case. Nope. So let's try this again. File, Import, Merge. And I'm going to go ahead and open that scene. And I'm going to try Shape this time. And there you go. So now that I have this thing in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, name it glass. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this thing by hitting Z on the keyboard. You can see I have my glass here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at it in the front viewport. So what we want to do here is create a wine object that conforms to the inside of the glass. So select your wine glass and let's go over to the modify tab you have shell modifier on it, go ahead and delete that one and turn off the lathe modifier and then go into editable spline. And I'm going to expand my front viewport by hitting Alt W. Now our glass needs an interior. It needs an interior wall that comes down to the stem here. And then we need to put the line inside that. So to create our interior wall, what we need to do is duplicate this part of the glass. So to do that, let's go to Segment and select the segments that make up this part of the glass. And then we're going to scroll down in our settings here. And we're going to find Detach. Now we want to create a copy, so click Copy and click Detach and just leave it named shape and then I'm going to click OK and we now have an object called shape in our scene outliner here and if we select it we can move it over a little bit and that's what we want to do just move it over in the x-axis so we now have kind of an interior wall here and now we need to return to uh, segment mode here and we need to take this, I'm sorry, we need to return to vertex mode and we need to take this vertex and move it up and then edit it so that it becomes the interior of our wine glass. Like so. And once we've done that, then we need to reattach these two. Let's go ahead and select our wine glass and make sure we're at the top level. And let's select Attach 
with that one and then we're going to select the object that we created. So now we've attached these two. These are the same object. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is connect these two, oops, sorry, these two vertices with a line. So to do that, go ahead and select one of them, and then in the settings down here, find Connect. Turn it on, and then click and drag from one to the other, and you will have created a line between the two, and you can turn off Connect. And you can see they're connected now. So the next thing we need to do is take these two vertices, convert them to corners by right-clicking and selecting the corner in the quad menu, and then select both of them, and we're going to fillet them. Scroll down and find fillet so that we round off the top of the wine glass. And now we can turn on lathe again. And you can see clearly now that we have an interior to our wine glass. We also have some object, some uh, segments now that we can use to create our wine object. So let's go ahead and turn off lathe again. We're going to select segment one more time. And then we're going to select this segment and this one. And this is going to represent our wine. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to scroll down and find detach. Make sure copy is checked. We're going to name this detached object wine. Click OK. So we now have a wine object in our outliner. Let's go ahead over here and select it. And you can see if we move it over, you can see that there it is. Now, we don't want it to be completely on top of the wine glass object, so we're going to move it just a little tiny bit inside here. Oop. Just a little tiny bit. Just so it's not completely on top. And then we're going to apply the lathe modifier to it. And I'm going to click Min. And I'm going to turn on Lathe for my wine glass and make sure that the wine fills it. See, it does not. So in order to make that happen, I'm going to select the wine, open the Lathe modifier for it, select the axis, and move it over until it fills the wine glass like I want it to. It should kind of match up. And we can close that up now. Now we have a wine object, so what we need to do now is work on it alone. So let's hide the glass, and I'm going to expand my viewport, go back to perspective view, expand the viewport there, zoom in a little bit, and you can see here that the wine does not have a top. And you know that that would be the case. It would certainly have a top. It also has a hole in the bottom. So to fix the hole in the bottom, I'm going to go to vertex mode, I'm going to grab that vertex, and I'm going to turn on Show End Result, and I'm going to move that vertex to the center so that it closes up, but not too much. You don't want it to turn black. And now we need to deal with this hole in the top. So to fix that, what we're going to do is convert this now to an editable poly. So this is now an editable poly. So to fix the top, all you need to do is go to border mode and select the top border. And then let's turn on edge faces so we can see things a little better. And then select the scale tool. And then hold down shift and get right in the middle of your scale tool and scale in some polygons. And then let go of everything. And then hold down shift and do it one more time. And then what we want to do is collapse this to the center. So to do that, you need to go to your modeling ribbon and open it up. If it's not opened up, click this little little tiny button here. When, it, when you're in edge mode and you have that edge selected, you should see collapse right here. And if you click it with that edge selected, it should collapse it to the center just like that. Now I'm going to take this center vertex, get my move tool and move it down just a little bit. 
and then I'm going to go to edge mode and grab this edge and move it down just a little bit to create that effect where the wand kind of clings to the side of the glass. Now mine has for some reason a gap here so I'm going to go back to border mode and grab this border. I'm going to hold down the control and grab that border. Then I'm going to find bridge and I'm going to click bridge and that should take care of that. And I don't need one of these edges so I'm going to double click this. Actually I'll double click this one. I'm going to right click then I'm going to hold down control and select remove. You may not have to do that but if you do that's how you fix it. Okay so now we have a wine object. Now when we come back in the next video we're going to apply materials to this and we're probably going to have to go ahead and set up our studio lighting setup so we can see what's going on. And I'll see you then.